Hi everyone, in this video I would like to talk about what are some essential things that are required to become a Citrix administrator. So if you are someone who is wondering where to start and what to study to become a Citrix administrator, this video will give some insights to you. So Citrix administrator is uh, basically a uh, a person who is going to manage Citrix servers in the Citrix infrastructure. Okay, so different organizations use different kinds of technologies. Some people use uh, uh, Citrix, some people use Microsoft products, some people use VMware products. But when it comes to application virtualization and desktop virtualization, uh, Citrix products are re really really good in the market. They are number one I should say Some customers prefer Windows virtual desktops and Horizon VDA things like that as well and When it comes to server virtualization uh, VMware uh, is number one as per my opinion VMware vSphere VMware ESXer whatever you call it server virtualization their products are really good so you can actually integrate Citrix products in any uh, environment with VMware products. But if there is a specific requirement in your organization that it should be all Citrix products, then you can integrate all your Citrix components with uh, Citrix Zen server. Okay, so, so in order to become a Citrix administrator, first of all, you need to have some knowledge on uh, uh, Windows servers or Windows machines. It could be uh, Windows Server 2008, 2012 or whatever it is. Some knowledge on uh, Windows and also if you have uh, some knowledge on networking that would also really help to understand more about these concepts and because you, you will deal with a little bit of uh, networking as well. Uh, so if you have this basic skills then you can understand uh, Citrix uh, products or Citrix uh, virtualization products really well really well so what are some key roles and responsibilities that a Citrix administrator would take care of in day-to-day -day life so in this video I am going to give more details so first of all a Citrix administrator in some organizations may handle uh, client related issues and server related issues so it is not just that a, a citrix administrator would handle only uh, the server related issues or server related server related tasks uh, citrix administrator should be ready to help the end users as well sometimes in a way like because uh, when it comes to citrix uh, users users interact with the citrix application first okay so let's say when they're trying to log into some Citrix portal, let's say, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, we can say uh, databank.com. I'm just saying, okay, some company and, and they have Citrix and they're trying to connect and they type the username and password. When, when they click the application, they try to launch. So the first thing they interact is with Citrix. So if the Citrix is responding fast if the application is launching fine then it is well and good but if the citrix application fails for whatever reason then uh, this could be uh, an issue with any team in the citrix any team in the it infrastructure but uh, as, since the end user is first interacting with the citrix application so they think that it's an issue with the citrix application so so when you when you get any incident about Citrix, when you get any issue related to Citrix, so it is not just Citrix problem. It could be an issue with the network. It could be an issue with the database. It could be an issue with the storage or it could be an issue with something else. So, so as a Citrix administrator, you should have some, if you, if you can understand like, you know, what are the basic concepts, then you can relate when you get an issue. Okay, this could be, something to do with VMware environment or this could be something to do with database or this could be something to do with storage okay so so sometimes uh, uh, you know being a Citrix administrator is uh, you know sometimes it could be uh, 
challenging as well in a way like you know because users are interacting with citrix application directly if some mission critical application or if any uh, uh, important application is not launching or it is slow or it is creating some kind of issues they would like to they would like the citrix team to look into it and fix it as soon as possible even though this may not be related to, related to citrix so as a Citrix, as a Citrix administrator, you may have to get on calls with the, uh, with not with the end user. If there is a, if there is an IT person who is located in some location where these users are connected, where these users are accessing these Citrix applications, then you may have to uh, get on call with this uh, people who is on the other side of the world or who is in a different country and uh, yeah try to understand try to troubleshoot try to understand their issues and try to troubleshoot accordingly and fix it as soon as possible okay so this is something uh, you will do quite often in in some environments at the end of the day you have to coordinate even though you get an incident you can read uh, the details in the incident to understand the issue better it is always good to have a conversation with the a person who is actually facing this issue okay so please uh, keep in mind that you may have to get on some uh, get into uh, some kind of conference call sometimes and talk to people to understand more about the issue and uh, also the major roles include you know since you are uh, handling uh, all citrix components it could be uh, Citrix controller, license server, SQL server. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, SQL server in the sense like you are just looking into it. Maybe you will uh, try to check the connectivity to the SQL server. All these things. So, if you have some basic idea on all these products, it would be good. And when it comes to management tasks, we have to make sure that uh, all the uh, servers are up and running fine. That is the first thing. Uh, all the infrastructure servers, it could be uh, license server, Citrix controller, or Citrix VDA servers. All these machines have to be up and running fine. If uh, if you if you if you are uh, handling Citrix NetScaler as well, then it would be really helpful to you. Like it would give a lot of understanding about the Citrix infrastructure. And Citrix uh, NetScaler is one uh, product where uh, you can do a lot of things, but it falls under network. Uh, so it's like it's but it is all but it's also integrated with the Citrix environment. If you have access to it, you can see a lot of things. You can configure a lot of things, and you can do uh, uh, great things if you have uh, access to Citrix NetScaler. So as a Citrix administrator, your major roles and responsibilities would be sometimes you would be. Uh, you know, uh, being part of uh, the infrastructure changes. Let's say something is uh, happening in the network team. Some changes happening in the network team. Maybe they are changing the uh, network switch or firewall or router or whatever it is. So, but over the back end, you have all the Citrix servers. So, uh, you you may have to be part of these kind of activities sometimes. You know, because they are changing a core network infrastructure component which is uh, connected to uh, Citrix uh, uh, servers. So once uh, they are, you know, once they started doing this activity, you may have to be part of these kind of uh, activities and, you know, just to test the applications. Once the activity is done, you may have to test the applications and uh, take all the critical information at any point in time. If it, uh, you know, it is if it is not working, then you may have to troubleshoot and fix it, all these things. Okay, and this is something you do and also uh, publishing applications like uh, you, you deal with uh, different uh, people different application owners different maintenance managers different server owners so they would contact you they would contact you in your uh, uh, in your team like they would contact your mailbox and they would uh, ask you okay we are trying to install so and so applications and uh, uh, this needs to be done by end of this week something like that so uh, they will be providing you the set of file like the application that needs to be installed and they would say like uh, uh, if, if, if they can if they want if they have any document or something they would provide okay these are the instructions that need to be followed maybe some specific settings or customizations that 
the Citrix administrators need to follow before installing the application. So you have to follow accordingly. So you will be closely working with different application application owners as well. Uh, so once the application is deployed in any of the servers, then uh, some application owners would like to test it and uh, they would test it for a day or two and if they feel like it is good it is working fine then they would go they give it a go to uh, deploy it in the production environment as well so it depends upon your customer environment sometimes uh, some customers would like to install the application in the test environment first once installing it in test environment uh, if it goes really well then you can go ahead and install it in the production environment as well so in production environment you may have i don't know if they, they ask you to install it on 10 servers 20 servers 30 servers so you have to install it and once installation is done you have to make it available for the users to connect so uh, these are some tasks that you do and also uh, you will also make sure that all the critical services are up and running fine like you know you log you log into all the citrix infrastructure components you have to make sure that all the services are up and uh, uh, you can launch all kinds of applications and sometimes the upgrades would happen like you know if you are using a previous version of Citrix like some uh, uh, I don't know 6.5 or something maybe you want to migrate to 7.15 7.16 something like that then uh, you would also be participating in those kind of activities like you you have to uh, you know change the version like you have to upgrade it from one version to other version so you would have this is something you you have to uh, decide with the team and team would come up with some plan and then slowly you will start migrating from uh, one version to another version okay so this is also something you have to do it uh, and what else uh, publishing applications you have, when you install you have to publish applications as well for the users and yes when it comes to troubleshooting like uh, i said before uh, you get different kinds of issues every day because you know uh, at the end of the day our citrix application uh, or our citrix servers is communicating with the different components uh, in the environment in the it environment so uh, if there is something wrong with network they would raise an issue with Citrix. If there is something wrong with database, they would raise an issue with Citrix. If something is wrong with Active Directory, maybe some authentication is not happening on storefront, they would raise an issue with Citrix. If uh, you know if there is some issue with the storage, they would raise an issue with Citrix. So basically, we are the first point of contact in a way that because users are interacting with Citrix application first, they say Citrix is slow. So once we get these kind of issues, it could be quite tricky as well, and you may have to you know uh, be really smart to understand like where where the issue is happening so that you can isolate the problem quickly okay so sometimes you get priority one issues priority two issues and uh, yeah you have to start troubleshooting and fix it as soon as possible so that is one thing that you also do in daily uh, activities and also uh, if you know the ITIL process uh, in the organization IT infrastructure library, uh, you will have you will take care of incident management, problem management, change management, task management, event management. So, what is incident management? Basically, incident management is like when there is uh, when the critical service is down, you would get an incident. So, there would be a, there would be some kind of tool where you would. Uh, uh, I mean the cases would be registered and you have to uh, monitor that queue closely and take the if there is any incident priority incident just accept it and start working on it and fix it as soon as possible based upon the service level agreement okay and this is incident management and when it comes to uh, problem management is it some it, it's it is something that uh, you know uh, you, you you need some investigation and you may not be able to fix it properly I mean uh, immediately and in the in this particular scenario you can uh, you know uh, you can create a problem ticket because you need some investigation and this is happening to different users and different environments so this is something may not be related to Citrix but sometimes you may have to check with vendor Citrix sometimes you may have to check with Microsoft or any other uh, vendors to fix this particular problem so 
problem tickets would be some other tickets are are the issues that you need a lot of investigation and you need time and you need to interact with different teams or vendors to investigate and come to the uh, uh, conclusion so this is problem problem management and when it comes to uh, uh, i finished incident management problem management and let's say event management like you check all the critical events that are happening in your uh, uh, citrix infrastructure if something if you get some critical alert saying that i don't know license server is not responding or is it down or some fma some 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 fma related related service is down or ima related ima service is down okay broker service is down or whatever ad identity service is down or whatever if you get these kind of alerts you you may have to look into it and you have to log into that server and see is it a false alert because uh, you know sometimes there there could be a network disconnectivity or you could you could get uh, maybe some activity is happening or you have to just log into the server and see if the serv service is really stopped or uh, not responding so if it is stopped you may you can troubleshoot and fix it if it is already started then you can just uh, you know mention that and just close it so okay so these are some things uh, you would do in your citrix environment so at the end of the day as a citrix administrator you will be taking care of citrix servers like activities upgrades and installing applications publishing applications troubleshooting issues talking to different teams talking to vendors okay just to make sure all the citrix uh, related services are up and running fine okay so sometimes customers if you are working in virtual desktop media environment some customers want uh, the application to be migrated to uh, from an application virtualization to a desktop virtualization so you would you would create a vdi itself which would have all the applications and from a single vdi they can access all applications instead of accessing different applications they they can, we can give vdi itself and uh, yeah they can connect to the vdi uh, you can give a static vdi to them and they can connect to static vdi and they can access all the applications they want and sometimes and we may also need to open up the ports for those applications to work we may have to work with the different kinds of teams to open the ports so that customers can access those applications so these are some uh, things that we do in citrix uh, environment i can go on and talk about it in depth but uh, uh this is just a quick introduction to this uh so i hope you find this uh, information helpful if you have any questions you can leave a comment and if you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to share with your network uh, that would also be great and thank you for watching